What it do, cucks? It's your boy, The Hater, up in this piece. And I went on WWE.com to see what's going to happen tonight on Raw. Right? Hopefully, I release this video before uh, Raw plays um, so that it's not outdated in any capacity. But I think I'll do it when I get back home up in this mug. You know what I mean? Now, um, the main thing that is shown here in the preview is Chad Gable seeks to destroy Uncle Howdy. There's also an Intercontinental Tournament uh, title tournament uh, beginning for the number one contender, right? Now, first of all, let's just get this out of the way. Why is it that people need to have a tournament to determine the number one contender of the Intercontinental title? Up until now, people just got the chance by doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? What did Sami Zayn have to do to become the Intercontinental uh, title number one contender? Fuck all, he did nothing. Nobody does anything. People get their matches all the time. You know what I mean, what did Braun Breaker have to do? What did anybody really have to do with any of this in mind? Um, but, you know, the truth of the matter is that irrespective of what we say and what we see, you know, the rules just fluctuate depending on how they feel like it that week, right? But that's fine. You know, wrestling, we're not, nobody here is new to wrestling, right? We all know wrestling quite well. And with that in mind, we all find ourselves in a situation where we have to just deal with these things as they come along. Now, the bigger news here, of course, is that it's the debut of Uncle Howdy. Now, normally, I would say that Uncle Howdy um, debuting would be a big deal, but evidently it's not, right? Let's be real. This is yet another piece of evidence that suggests what we've known to be true all along. That this stable is a stable of massive jobbers. You understand me? Massive, massive jobbers. Nobody in this stable has any kind of validity in wrestling. Uh, nobody here matters, including Uncle Howdy, right? You would think, you would be wrong, but you would think that Uncle Howdy, if he's going to be presented as some sort of legitimate figure, he would debut on a pay-per-view, you know? Um, but... Obviously, like I think we've established that Uncle Howdy is not a pay-per-view <laughs> worthy wrestler, right? This could be a big a big deal, right? Uncle Howdy's finally debuting. You have to do it against Chad Gable now for obvious reasons. But, you know, if this was predicted and booked better, it could have also been handled better and it could have led to a better moment, which we're not getting now. Now, we're going to be getting what, we're, what they tell us we're going to be getting, and that is Uncle Howdy debuting on Raw as, as if he were... Uh, Eric Escobar, in my opinion, Eric Escobar was better. So, with all that being said, it's like, well, what is there to look forward to? Like, we all know Uncle Howdy's gonna win. That's the only thing, that's the only saving grace of, like, uh, this debut being on Raw, is that we get it out of the way faster, you know what I mean? We, like, it doesn't have to take up, like, one pay-per-view uh, segment. But, considering that the pay-per-view segment that would probably fill it might be, like, Tonga Loa and Tama Tonga versus, like, you know, Grayson Waller and uh, Austin Theory, then, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same shit, different day, cucks. And with all this being said, I personally am curious, like, very curious, if you ask me, uh, as to what the logic behind this is going to be. I don't really see this turning into anything important. I don't really see uh, this being anything relevant, right? As a matter of fact, like, if we are ending this arc with Chad Gable, which it has nowhere to go anymore, right? Once Uncle Howdy beats Chad Gable and the fans chant, this is awesome, right? And once he hits the sister, the sister Abigail, like, that's another thing, by the way, but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, once he beats Chad Gable, then it's time to find something else for Uncle Howdy and the, and the Wyatt Six, right? It's time for them to find another identity. Wow. Well, that's going to be hard to do because they don't have an identity cuckolds. So, with all this being said, it's like, what are we going to do about it now? Yeah. What, well, what can we do about it now? I think there's nothing we can do about it now. So, you know, Uncle Howdy and the Wyatt Six, they're going to need to find basically another Chad Gable, right? Because, I mean, it's possible, okay? Like I, like, I don't know for a fact. You know, the hater has been wrong a few times in the past, but generally speaking, I'm right about these things. And the thing that I'm saying right now is I don't see, like, you know, Uncle Howdy or the Wyatt Six going from feuding with, uh, you know, uh, Chad Gable and American Maid to becoming some sort of serious act. Meaning, I don't see them 
turning into something else and going after, let's say, Gunther. I mean, not Gunther, because Gunther is a heel, but you know what I mean. They're not going to, like, after this, become a serious threat, right? At most, at most, like, the highest they can go is they'll go after Seth Rollins. Like, someone of that level. Like, probably Seth Rollins, you know? And it's like, if they go after Seth Rollins, I don't really see a scenario in which the Wyatt Six beats Seth Rollins, right? I think that's where the buck stops. Like, as a matter of fact, I think that's what's going to happen with the Wyatt Six. They're going to beat, like, Chad, Ga- Chad Gable-level wrestlers, like, in terms of, you know, what level they are on the card, not how good they are as wrestlers, right? They're going to be beating a bunch of Chad Gables, and then eventually they're going to meet a Seth Rollins, and Seth Rollins is going to beat them, right? It's basically the same thing that happened with Bray Wyatt, but, like, a level below. Because Bray Wyatt would beat, like, Daniel Bryan, and then, before you know it, at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan's in the main event, and the guy that beat him two pay-per-views ago is, like, a jobber again, you know? So, things things do change quickly in wrestling, but I have a feeling that now, I mean, like, I, I'm even going to say it. I'm looking forward to seeing how bad Uncle Howdy's debut is going to be, because it's going to be, like, it's really strange, right? It's It can't be a squash match. It just can't, right? Chad Gable, they've they've put some stock onto Chad Gable. So, with all that being said, if they've put some stock onto Chad Gable, it's like you can't really have anybody just, like, completely squash him. So, what are they going to do? They're going to have a 50-50 match, and then we're going to establish conclusively that, um, that Uncle Howdy, I almost called him Bray Wyatt, it's the same shit, that Uncle Howdy is on the same level in the card as Chad Gable. You know, this guy's just fucking standing here like a retard. Like, what is wrong with these people? Bro, you can't stand in the middle of the road. Sorry, guys. Hater on the road, by the way. Hater on the road. You know? Oh, my God. This guy is just like, he's just learning how to drive probably. He got a new car, too. Dumb motherfuck. Anyways, yeah. That's basically all I got to say about this video. Anyways, there's not much more to, to really discuss here. It is what it is. But um, for better or for worse, I say we all kind of tune in to, uh, you know, what's it called? The... You know, the Raw, uh, the episode of Raw, and we'll see what happens. Like, I mean, you know, it's like at this point, it's nobody's fault but the WWE's themselves, right? Um, You've made things not make sense, and as a result, we all have to pay the price now. And the price we have to pay is watching this garbage, you know what I'm saying? Watching this garbage, this complete crap. Um, I mean, I do, like I said, I do look forward to the actual match. Just because I'm curious, like, you know, in my opinion, it should be like a squash match, right? But I don't see them going that way, you know? So if they're not going to go that way, then it's like, I'm I'm legitimately curious to see which way they are going to go. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see, I guess. We'll see. But whatever. Could go both ways. Could go either way. I have no idea. We'll see. Um, beyond that, I don't think there's anything else uh, worthy of even, like, watching on Raw. I, I feel like the rest of Raw is just going to be, like, the Intercontinental title tournament will start. I mean, how many people are they going to be there? It's going to be at least four, it feels like, right? But then again, next week is, like, the the pay-per-view, I think, right? Next, or is it next Sunday? The Sunday after this? I don't even know. So if it's not for the pay-per-view, then what's the point? I mean, like, again, why not put all of these on, uh, you know, on on pay-per-view. Oh, wow. Sid Yudi passed away. I think that's Psycho Sid. Holy shit. They put a thing on WWE.com. Uh, wow. Oh, that's so sad, man. Sid Justice. Psycho Sid was fucking awesome, man. I can't believe he's dead. That sucks. Um, we're also going to have Big Bronson Reed versus Braun Strowman. This is another thing that, like, once again, like, I'm looking forward to the match because I feel like it's going to be a glorified squash match. I don't see this being 50-50. I think Bronson Reed is going to just beat Braun Strowman. Now, if he does that, then all of a sudden, this entire Bronson Reed push is just silly because he's like, I never had any opportunities. Well, it's like, if you beat Braun Strowman, you're going to get some opportunities. You know, so you just, for some reason, he was never able to beat Braun Strowman before, and now he's going to be able to beat him, basically, right? So it's like, you know, basically, now that um, that Bronson Reed is turning into like a serious you know, wrestler, I guess, like a serious threat. Now they're trying to like portray it as if like all of a sudden he's better. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden this guy's better at what he does simply because he is a serious, a serious wrestler. Now, all of a sudden this motherfucker is like no longer a jobber. He's being presented relatively seriously. 
And I mean, that is what that is. But, you know, like maybe we need a bit, a bit more, you know what I mean? Maybe we need a tiny, tiny bit more um, than that. That might not be sufficient, but we'll see, you know, overall, the only thing to look forward to is the debut of Uncle Howdy. Um, but again, not, not cause like, we're not going to see anything great here, but just so we can see perhaps, you know, I don't know, like, uh, how the match is going to flow. Right. Um, what if like Chad Gable wins? Probably zero chance, but you know what I mean? Like just to see how long the match is basically. Right. And to see what Bo Dallas has in him now that he hasn't wrestled for a few years, you know, maybe he's like got new moves. I don't know. We'll see. Right. It's a debut. Debuts are generally exciting. Cuckolds, even if it's for a jobber like Uncle Howdy. So we'll see. And we'll review it tonight. Uh, I might upload it the day after tomorrow or, uh, I might upload it tomorrow or tonight. I'm not sure. The raw review, I mean. And we'll go from there. Cucks, take care.